Christmas and Happy New Year. I am here at Brittany's house, a little change of scenery, to film the first scene of my Christmas special. By this point, it's already out. I hope you like it. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. <laughs> Brittany is excited that her dolls are being featured as guests at the Christmas party. This video is just gonna be a compilation of clips as I put the stop motion together. Let's start scene one. I look so tired. It is 1.30 a.m. Dude. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and knock out both scenes that I could potentially film here. Okay, so we're gonna set up in this little hallway. Did you smell her? I like, I like how the new smell. Hey. Final time, it is 2.54 a.m. <laughs> and we're going to bed. Good night. Hey, quick room tour. This is the main character's bedroom set. It's my basic backdrop. I always use this American Girl pet boutique thing in the back of the kitchen. This is just a wall from the dollhouse. Put some Christmas lights just for some extra bokeh. Some little knickknacks. She has a, a calendar from Five Hens and a Cockatiel and then the letter from Sydney that goes with it. I know that Rebecca's Jewish and this is a Christmas special, but this is the bed and the bedding on it is from Dolly Dreaming, Ellen Sheets' store. She sent me this amazing quality bedding. Set tour time. I'm laughing because this is the most chaotic looking set I have ever made. I also had to block out the light from the windows. This is the antique store set that I made. It's pretty elaborate. I have a lot of layers of walls as you can see. So we have just the table with some antiques on it. I really tried to make it look like a real antique store where you just don't know what to look at. So we have a tray of jewelry, some vintage peppermints, a pet rock. This is Rebecca's little music thing. I love this. Some little Christmas decor. Fun fact, I actually broke his helmet off during filming. This girl tries to pick him up. I accidentally snapped this and so, whoops. A lot of this stuff I just stole from downstairs. My mom decorates with old stuff for Christmas. This is probably my favorite touch, the please do not play the piano. I just feel like you see that at every antique store. Put some little coasters on there. It's not an antique store without some American Girl dolls. A little Santa Claus. This is Melody's desk. More stuff back there. Smile, you're on camera, unfortunately for these two. I'm really excited with how it looks on camera because right now I'm a little embarrassed. Oh, one more thing I wanna point out. This poof, the reason it's so high up, like it doesn't do anything in the shot, is because when I'm filming back here, the sun was still coming through that window. So I was using it to block the rays that were making the dolls look foggy on camera. That's your best bet. That's not a real hot light either. No, yeah, that's good. How do you get up? So I like to put a ladder. So you want to do it tomorrow night? Yes, sir. We'll start at dusk, or do you want it to be dark, dark? I can come out here at like 5.30. It won't be dark yet. Okay, 6. It works. We'll plan on it. Cool? Cool. Thanks. Hi. <laughs> We're on the roof. <laughs> We're on the roof. We're about to film. So what do I do? Recording right now? Behind the scenes footage. So now I'm like going for perspective. Look at this Michael. Hey guys, I know you can't see me because it's dark outside, but I wanted to just show you how interesting. I just shot this and it looks so bright on camera but this is what it actually looks like. Yeah, just the magic of aperture, shutter speed, all that. I didn't see a wave. Hi. 
I just finished. I started about seven, and so I can't feel my fingers. Shout out to mom for the gloves. This is my little bus stop that I made out of cardboard. Oh my! I taped fairy lights on the inside just to get some extra light. My script book is soaking wet. It's so cold and gross out here. Mm -hmm. I'm holding up a peace sign, but you can't tell. I'm cleaning my room up a little. Featuring Courtney because I'm giving her away soon. So this is <laughs> the Nutcracker Sugar Plum Fairy Collector's doll. American girl was super nice and sent her to me. <laughs> what makes her so special? She has Swarovski crystals all over her costume. Wow, we can get a close up. Mm. She's so pretty, so sparkly. Care for your sugar plum fairy doll. Maybe be very careful. I think it's interesting she's not packaged like a regular doll. Oh my gosh. I'm excited. Courtney's so jealous back there. Courtney is going home with somebody on Patreon. I don't know who yet. People always ask me how to win giveaways on Patreon, and the answer is just be signed up. It's random. outfit wow so like everything sorry i'm down here all the jewels on her are real crystals she is sparkly hairnet time Ooh la la her cameo in the in the christmas special is gonna be two seconds long but she's so pretty she has like glitter eye makeup look at her sparkly costume her tutu her ballet slippers her leotard is like a like a velvet. Look at her hair. Oh my gosh. She's got a choker. She has a trading card, which the mouse and the candy cane have too. She also has a tiara and a scepter with real crystals on them. This is heavy. I did. That was horrible. <laughs> okay, try again. Ooh la la. Her little scepter. She can hold it. Ooh. Pretty you are. Just these guys keeping me company. Hi. This is the stage that I made. Oh. Just finished. I'm about to go film some more. Hey guys. So last night I didn't get to finish all the scenes that I needed to do in front of my neighbor's house because the lights out in front went out and I didn't want to bother them and so I'm just going to go finish tonight. I really regret, I don't regret it, I mean it's going to look good, but I'm kind of bummed that I wrote a story that only takes place at night because I can only film at night. So during the day I feel really, I don't know what to do, I'm just waiting for it to get dark. So during the day lately I have been editing so that by the time I'm done completely filming, all I have to do is insert those last few clips, edit those, and then it's set to go. I'm cutting it close this year and normally I start filming during Thanksgiving break. Um, I didn't start filming until a couple days ago. Today is the 21st and I'm planning to get this up by Christmas Eve. I'm editing right now. I wanted to give y'all a couple tips. My first one. I don't know if this is editing or filming, I guess it's a bit of both. If you are having a doll walk into the scene, like she walks in and then she stops and says her line, pro tip, who's calling me? Dad is calling me. Hello. Do you want anything from Freebirds? Ooh, sure. Okay. Alright, bye. Bye, I love you. Getting Freebirds for lunch. Refried beans keeps correcting to retried beans. Anyways, <laughs> what was I saying? Okay, if you're filming a... My brother is playing video games. If you're filming a doll entering a scene to say her line, film it in reverse so that the doll is completely in focus and then you put a reverse effect on it when you're editing. And so I do this a lot for scenes when my dolls are walking in just to ensure that they're in focus when they're saying their line. Like sometimes I'll put something on the ground and they'll like walk up to it. Um, but I just found that putting it in reverse is easier. I did that a lot in this film. The whole scene where Molly's character is on the porch walking out and then Truly, the Truly Me follows her out. I filmed that whole thing in reverse. Also, when they're in the attic, the character Lori is putting the window up, filmed that in reverse too. I'm trying to think of how to explain it well. I guess, okay, I feel like it's easier for dolls to take things off as opposed to put them on. So for instance, if they're taking something off a shelf, it's easier to film it in reverse as opposed to having the doll like perfectly place it. You have gravity working in your favor and then when you reverse it, it looks good. Another pro tip, I'm actually slowing down a lot of the music that I'm using. So I found songs that I like and then I go in in Final Cut and cut them to like 80 
as opposed to 100%. During the chase scene, I slowed that down a little bit. And then at the end, I'm slowing down Jingle Bells. So it's just like little editing, things like that, that make your video flow so much better. It's like making the music work for you as opposed to you like working around the music. This is like the 20th car that has driven by. This is a closed set. Hey, it's the moon. Just finished. Hi, I don't know if you can tell by the audio, but it's really windy. This is what I came up with for doll stands. He's sandwiched in between two dolls. I'm done with the 2020 Christmas special box at the bus stop. I'm gonna be honest with you. I have never been more done with the script than this evening. I don't wanna ever shoot outside ever again. Three hours of the gustiest of winds. This is insane. Hey, it's the moon again. Holy. We are windblown. But the dolls were troopers. Jonah has a, a couple new nicks on his nose from falling forward 20,000 times. But hey, he makes a cute little skater boy. He was like the leader of the skater team because I liked his outfit the most. Um, someone sent this hat to my P.O. box. Very cute. Whoa, what's with the part? Flannel, eBay from American Girl. Same with turtleneck. Corduroy's American Girl. And these are the shoes that go with... I don't actually remember. Ooh. Emma just wiped out down here. Guys, I'm just so tired. But we are done. The Christmas special is done. I have no more filming. I'm done with this box. This is the bottom half of it, and then this is the one that Molly carries throughout the special. Um, it's the box that Melody's rocket comes in. I'm just, I don't wanna look at it anymore. I'm so done. This evening, I'm not gonna lie, this evening was not very fun but it's done and hopefully it looks okay. I do have to record some last minute voices for some of the skaters. So I just figured I would wrap up with that. As you know, it's really awkward for me to record audio, but I'm doing it for you. I gotta channel my inner skater boy. Ooh, okay. Hey you girls, hey you girls, hey you girls. What's in the box? Ooh, business. Ooh, business. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Hey, I know you're in here, pip squeaks. We're gonna find you. <laughs> feel so mean. <laughs> Come on, bro. I'm bruv. <laughs> All right, skater boys done. All right, that concludes behind the scenes because quite frankly, I'm so tired and probably after this, I'm gonna take a shower and go straight to bed. I've never been more ready to be done with a project. Um, I'm really excited for you to see it though. I would love to hear what you think. Patreon is a great place to connect with me and tell me what you thought of the film. I love you guys so much. I have a lot of editing to do, so I'm ending this video. Bye. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Oh, by the way, one more thing. You should really consider joining us on Patreon. It's a really great place to keep up with all things Mixy Pixie 7 with behind the scenes, special contests, and more. Here's a thank you to some of our supporters now. Also, we love receiving mail from y'all. Here's our mail of the week. Firstly, I wanted to thank Sophie for this really kind letter, and then I love the artwork that you did. So cool. Hi, Allie. Thank you so much for taking the time to write me. And just so you know, if I ever have a meetup, I would love to see you there. This next letter comes from Julianne. Thank you so much. And to answer your questions really quick, I was nine when I started YouTube. My first doll was Molly. And I don't have a favorite doll. I love them all for different reasons. A massive thank you to Emma. This was so fun to read. I love the colors of your letter and the picture you sent. So cute. Merry Christmas, girl. I got two really encouraging letters from Nora that I appreciated so much. So it was good to hear from you. And I actually have been posting all year. I don't know why I haven't been seeing my videos, but I appreciate the letters. 
Hey Holly, your letter was super encouraging to me. I just love everything that you were saying. I would really encourage you to embrace your passion for American Girl and tell your friends because if they are true friends, they're gonna support you no matter what. And by the way, your idea of giving dolls to kids in foster care is such a neat idea. And finally, I got this letter from Addie from AG Stars. Thank you so much for the lamp too, by the way, it's not shown, but I love it and I appreciate you so, so much. 